Hi, so we're here with Chris today and we're going to show you the shoulder bridge. So Chris, if you would go ahead and lay on your back. Now shoulder bridge is a very familiar looking exercise. So we're going to break it down a little bit, give you a couple of options to really get the most out of it. In this position, notice her knees are bent and they're positioned in parallel and hip bone distance apart. The arms pressing actively, good, waking up the shoulders and even the base of the skull. Now she's going to go into a version called the slinky bridge. So you'll see she's going to tip her tail back towards her throat and then she's going to start to unravel her spine and press her hips up nice and high, good. And then as she comes down, she's going to roll through her back. You can see how she's collapsing there at the abdominals. You can really feel how she's moving through each rib and each vertebra in the back. Let's do that one more time. She's going to start by tilting the pelvis or curling up and then raising up and you can really see that beautiful length through. And then she's going to round through, she's going to contract here and really roll through all of her ribs and her spine there. Good. Now another version that we do is a plank bridge. So let's take a look at the difference. So here she's basically as one piece picking herself up, good, and then lowering it down. You can almost imagine cables here hooked up to the ceiling just hoisting her hips up, good, and lower down. Good. So benefits are great for both versions. So it's just a matter of what you're feeling that day. The main thing is, is that the emphasis is on the placement of the limbs, that the feet are connecting, the arms are connecting, and, and certainly she's breathing. Now, she's gonna raise up into a bridge position. Pick whichever one feels good in your body. Good. And we can see that nice bridge here. She places her arms down, and she's gonna go ahead and extend her right leg out with a pointed toe. She's gonna point and kick up and flex and lower. So this is actually the choreography for the bridge. Good, then she's gonna reverse, just like that. Good, you can notice her hips are very stable and even. Good, let's do the other side. So when she changes legs, she's doing her best to keep the hips good, even across, and you can certainly hear that breathing again, and reverse, and she's really getting that nice flexion there in the hip. Good, and go ahead and bend the knee, and then take your time, and you're gonna lower down all the way. Excellent work, Chris, and that is the shoulder bridge.